here in October and I feel like this is the perfect time for us to take a look in what is coming up here in trends in 2024, what is going to be popular, what we think is going to be popular for 2024. In my last video, I did a video on what to sell in 2023 and that was really based on what the 2023 trends were, what was selling, what was popular specifically in the pre-loved market. I spoke about Fashion File and how they did a luxury report on what is popular in 2023 here and this is also going to be coming from Fashion File as well. This discussion though is what they have the theory on is going to be popular in 2024. I really loved this list. I was really excited to discuss it with you guys, see what you think, give you my thoughts on it and for us to kind of come up with some things together. So as I go through the list, make sure you guys are commenting down below on how you feel about it, how you feel about the certain bags that we're going to be talking about. And by the way, did you guys see that Fashion File had a sale? Were they listening to me? Because in my Fashion File video, I was saying how they used to do these 10% off of all sale items. And recently they've been doing 10% off of select items. And when I say, I was like, oh my gosh, they're listening to me or so or either my dreams are just coming true at this point because starting last Wednesday, they had 10% off all sale items. It ran through, I want to say Friday or Saturday. So I hope you guys got a chance to check out that sale and maybe got some things you've been having your eye on. I know I did. I can't wait to unbox what I got with you guys. So you'll have to catch up with me on the upcoming video for that. But in the meantime and in between time, my name's Megan. Welcome back to my channel, The You in Fashion. On my channel, we discuss fashion, luxury, handbags, lifestyle. If you're interested in any of those topics, please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that notifications bell down below. My goal with this channel is to hopefully help you find the you in fashion. So let's go ahead and get started. Starting first with the 2024 trends of what we think is going to be popular. The very first one comes at no surprise to us and those are timeless investment pieces. I agree with this one 110% and what I will say about this one is it's going to show up each and every time on a what to purchase for the next year because they are timeless and they're going to continue to be popular. So if you're going to take away one thing from this video of like what bag if I can only own one, what is going to be that bag that's going to stand the test of time and that's going to continue to be a timeless investment? It's definitely going to be one of these few. Of course, they mention the Hermes Birkin. As you guys know, mine is the Birkin 25 in the Etain. And then they also mention the Chanel Classic Double Flap. Again, these are timeless pieces. You can get them in timeless colors and they will serve you for years and years and years to come. So if you're looking for a piece that you're like, okay, what is going to be popular from here on out to the end of time? I have a feeling that these are going to suit you very, very well. One of the other ones, of course, they mentioned is the Hermes Kelly. So really with Hermes Kelly, Birkin, Chanel double flaps, you can't go wrong. Since I've been purchasing luxury items that has held to be true since 2017 and I don't anticipate that changing at all moving forward either. These designs are going to be perfect for minimalist style. If that's what you are into, one of these in a neutral color is going to be fantastic for 2024. Going into the next items, they were mentioning how clutches they anticipate are going to be popular coming up here in 2024. I have my multi pochette, which allows me to separate this into different parts and actually carry these as little pouches. So you're thinking classic Louis Vuitton pouches where you can grab them and go. This definitely would fit kind of into that more casual clutch category. Now on the dressier side of things, Judith Lieber has these really, really, really cute designs of different clutches to go out with of really cool like martini glasses and sleeping cats is one of them that she has and then if you were watching the last season of sex in the city they even had this little jw anderson pigeon bag that carrie carried and it was so 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 cute so i really loved here this idea of moving into 2024 that a really cute fun clutch is really going to be a good style to go along with this upcoming year and of course you'll never go wrong with maybe some of your more classic styles or mez makes their popular clutch as 
well. It is the Gigi clutch, I believe is how you pronounce it. So if you're looking for a clutch style, there's so many different options from Louis Vuitton, Hermes, Judith Lieber, JW Anderson, all of these that make really, really cute clutches, no matter whether you want something a little bit more casual or something that's really gonna make a statement or something that you can go out with at nighttime as well. In my video last week, I was like, I'm not really sure where a metallic would fit well, but this is one of those areas. I really think like a really cute metallic clutch. I know I said last week that maybe a metallic bag wouldn't be something I would go for, and I still kind of agree with that, but something small, something clutch-like that you could go out and that is your statement piece, something small and tiny, I think now that is where I could see pulling in more of that metallic trend in to my style. Next trend that they mention are soft and slouchy bags. So this is no surprise. This has been popular over the last couple of years and it looks like it'll continue to be popular. Moving into 2024, the Chanel 19 was a hit because it was soft, it was slouchy, it felt buttery soft. Bottega Veneta also does a great slouchy bag. Chanel, I believe it's their XXL bag, is also big slouchy, soft. That is definitely the trend that you're going for this year. A little less structured, a little more comfy, a little bit more slouchy is definitely going to be a trend I think that we're going to continue to see continuing to grow here in 2024. Also within this trend, they mentioned oversized totes. The Birkin 35 is a great example. The Saint Laurent Reeve gauche tote is a perfect example. The Chanel tote is a great example. So anything that is a tote style that is large is going to definitely be more on trend upcoming here in 2024. So if you were like, I am so tired of these small bags, I am a big bag kind of girl, then now is definitely your time. Go ahead and grab one of these larger bags and live your best life being able to fit anything and everything into this bag of yours. You guys let me know about what we think about the Louis Vuitton Neverfull in the GM size, because of course the MM, which is the middle size, has taken over for the longest. Do you think that big GM size that's large and slouchy is really going to take back over here coming up in 2024? I would love to get you all's opinion on that. Next trend they're thinking about is more bold animal or abstract prints. And the bold animal prints, Dior does this very well. The book tote, I think is gonna really fit into that category I was last talking about as far as like an oversized tote bag that people have loved the book tote for years and years and years. But I think that more people are going to be gravitating, it looks like in 2024, maybe to some of Dior's more abstract or more animal print designs, which I think will be really nice and really cool to see because I think that they do that beautifully. Someone else, of course, that's known for their abstract prints, as you know, is going to be Gucci. Gucci is always going to give you a fun, funky print and they are, and Fashion File is expecting that that's gonna become more and more and more popular moving into 2024. Probably the most logo mania bag that I have or the most print bag that I have is going to be my little Fendi bag here. This one was one that I purchased early on in my collection, but as you can see, it's still here. I just love the Fendi Zuka print. We're gonna talk a little bit more about Fendi later on. And this next one is the only time that I've considered maybe trading out this Fendi bag for something else. So I'm curious to get you guys' opinion on that moving forward, but abstract prints, animal prints, what do you think about those coming up in 2024? Animal prints in a handbag for me, I'm not sure that I can make that work for me. I do think, as I was saying, some of the more abstract prints, especially from Dior, I could totally see if you're like, okay, I, I love Dior. I have a ton of their handbags already that are more like neutral toned and I want something fun and I want something a little bit more edgy. I think that those are going to be beautiful, especially in some of their classic styles, but more of a more fun or abstract print. So you guys let me know what you think about this as well. The next thing they hint at is some of these mega glamorous pieces with hints of shimmer and iridescence. For those that are more seeking the statement or standout pieces, and we discussed this also in the last video, so we're kind of coming back to that. So I think it's cool to see how this trend of 2023 
seems to be translating into 2024 as well when it comes to more of this iridescent or shimmer or even metallics as we discussed before. So all of those are something that was popular in 2023 and some of the things that I mentioned for that of course was my mini Lady Dior that is behind me. That is more of an iridescent tone and I absolutely love that bag. I also spoke to you guys about Chanel's iridescence and how I love those but one thing that piqued my interest here was the Fendi Baguette bag. Now let's take a step back. So uh, the Fendi Baguette bag I have been having my eyes on for a while. And again, watching Sex and the City, Carrie has this pink Fendi baguette bag that is like this really pretty metallic sequin. And I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. It looked great on her. On Fashion File, they have a couple of options that I think are really, really, really cute in this sequin, taking the Fendi baguette style and making it a little bit fun and colorful I think is really 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 cool. Now I would love to get you guys opinion on this. Do you feel like the sequin is going to be something that translates long term? Is a sequin bag really worth the investment? I don't know but is it truly fun to look at? Absolutely. And of course we hinted on the metallics as well. Several brands are giving metallic options. Bottega Veneta has some really really pretty metallic design and I think that metallic sequin, a little bit of shine, a little bit of glamour, a little bit of crystals are going to be here to stay for years and years and years to come. So if you're looking for a going out bag, a nice metallic or shimmer bag is definitely the way to go. And for me, like I said, I think my dream version of this is like a metallic shimmer clutch I think would be absolutely beautiful. So you guys let me know down below what you guys think about this upcoming list for 2024. Do you foresee these all truly being popular as trends coming up in the upcoming year? And what part of them do you think that you can see yourself taking full advantage of in the year to come? Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!